I can't think of anything. I'm sorry. I I'd like to, but... I loved her. I do love her. In fact, I can't right now deal with the idea that she's gone. That I might not wake up with her again, or go on holiday, because... Sorry if this sounds a bit... But I think she's my soulmate. Stupid things, like... I liked watching her eat. The way she eats is so... And she's funny, and beautiful, and brave, and... Like, we were on the tube once, and it was really crushed, and there was this guy. He, he wasn't like a tramp or anything. He was wearing a suit. He had a briefcase. And she'd noticed that this guy had taken his... You know, his... Penis out, and he was sort of rubbing it against her. But the tube was so packed, you know, so no one really noticed. But when she realised, she started shouting really loudly, LOOK AT HIS CHIPOLATA! Until everyone was looking at them. And you think that'd be really embarrassing, wouldn't you? But I just love that. She's just so fearless. And what happened was the entire tube started chanting together. And we're all laughing and chanting at this guy, CHIPOLATA! CHIPOLATA! <laughs> and I thought, I actually feel like part of something. For the first time in my life, I actually feel like I'm part of something and that we, people, can change things. People can stand up and stop shit things happening because that's what it felt like when I was with her. I felt sort of connected to the world and all the things the world could be if we were just better versions of ourselves. And it's like this better world sort of was, was shared space that existed in both of our heads. Like this world that we'd helped build, it was just for us, it was our secret. We had a secret and we lived in it together. It was just for us and, and... And that's it, really. I just really love her.